Hello developers, welcome back. In the last video, we have learned about the composition API and we created the simple basic to do's feature using composition API. Now, today in this lesson, we will learn about ref. So, let's start. In view 3, we can define the reactive property using two ways one using reactive and second is using ref. First, let's see how we can use ref and then we will talk about the difference between ref and reactive so here first i'm going to comment this so first thing we need is the new task so here i'll say const new task is equal to ref and make sure it is imported right here and then we will define empty string and its initial value is empty string and next we need to do's so here i'll say const to do's is equal to ref and here i'll pass this array like this and finally we need to extract this computer property from here and paste it here and here i'll say const const completed to do's count is equal to computed Const and remove this comma from here and it's done now we need to return these we now need this so comment it and here i will return new task next to rules now we need to return completed to rules count and finally pending to rules count now go to browser a reactive is defined but never used to ref is defined but never used so here we need to remove it and remove this now refresh state is not defined hmm. okay we need to change the right here as well we need to say to do's and now we cannot say to do's dot filter instead here we need to say to do's dot value dot filter similarly right here also to do's dot value and here also new task dot value dot value again here also to do's dot value now go to browser refresh and it should work it is working this reactive and ref offers the same reactive property for same purpose but the difference is in the usage of these options the major difference is that if you need to define the reactive primitive values then ref option is the first choice the ref option allow us to create reactivity for primitive values and in javascript reactive variables are string integer booleans null undefined keywords and right here is the example here we have created the reactive property with empty string and that we cannot define with the reactive options we always have to use object this ref takes a value and returns a reactive reference object and this object has a single property that we can access using dot value that points to the value we provided right here and this reactive always takes an object and it returns a reactive proxy to the original object let's see this let's say here we have a const a variable reactive anything let's say example any value now let's console log variable variable and this is the new task now in the browser let's open the inspect tool in the console and here you will see that this variable is defined using reactive 
and it has written the proxy object and this is ref object and here it has value property and one more thing that we can convert this reactive into the ref but this ref cannot be converted into the reactive we have already seen that when we have converted this state into the to ref right here so now the question is that when we should use a reactive or ref and that is all up to you how you want to define your logic feature you can achieve your goal using both reactive and ref and this is on you what you will prefer to use one common suggestion is that when you have variables related to particular features then you should organize them using the reactive variable for example right here we have defined all the task related properties in the state using this reactive which feels more organized as compared to this ref now this is the end of the lesson thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.